for God's sakes. Once you say I do, then stop doing some things. Oh, you're welcome back to my channel thank you for watching my videos and thank you for sharing it if you're just in this video for the first time this is june tv and it's friday another time and that moment of the week so today i'm talking to the married people the truth is once you say i do you are now taking so there's some things you should not be doing five things that a married person should never do because you can't eat your cake and have it back yes that's why it's called marriage if you are married then stop doing the things that single people do so i was just give you five because you know my video shouldn't be too long number one you should stop texting the opposite sex yes you i know you're gonna tell me eh, what about work i know you go to work i know you have businesses to do but there are times for everything so if you are a married person your time for business should be time for business and your time for staying at home should be for staying at home you can't just be in your house and you are using your phone to text a the opposite sex now what do you want your, your partner to think about that you are doing business at home or that you are cheating you see all these little, little things bring problems in marriages so once you're married please stop testing the opposite sex yes you heard me <laughs> That's number, one. number two is that you should stop sleeping out as a married person there's no justification for you to sleep out except if you have to travel out of town for business or for other engagements but not that you got drunk or you went out with the guys or with the girls and then you slept out hey mm -mm. that is a no-no once you are married the third one is that yes you are married that's why you are married if anybody is inviting you for any dinner dates business dates that has to do with you alone mm -mm. tell the person no if the person cannot make reservations for you and your wife or your husband and the person then is a temptation run because the bible says flee from every temptation okay it's even disrespect for your partner so don't go to dinner dates with any opposite person if you are still if you are married don't go to any dinner dates with an opposite sex insist that your partner goes with you with that, the person will know that you are a responsible person. And if it's business, trust me, you will get it. <laughs> That's about that. So the fourth one is that you should not keep nude pictures in your phone. Hey, what are you doing with it? I want to go sleep with the person. Like if you want to sleep with this person, it's understandable. But if you don't intend to sleep with this person, why should you keep new pictures on your phone? How are you going to explain that? Like, what explanation do you have to keep a new picture of someone else in your phone? And you are a married person. So don't do that, please. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you've been doing it, stop it today as you're watching this video. Okay? And then, and then the fifth one I'm going to give you for today before I run off is that you should please stop the it's me 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 thing yes once you stood at the altar and said i do it means that you are no longer you it's no longer going to be it's me my own my myself no it has to be we now so you have to change that m to w and make it a we affair everything has to be together with your partner yes don't do it alone because you're no longer alone yes so thank you very much for watching today's episode i hope you enjoyed it have you shared my video once oh you've not like seriously you've been watching all for yourself and you don't be sharing please share this video yes share it so that others will learn as well okay and if you have not subscribed in fact what are you going to do thank you if you don't leave if you're not subscribed please click on that subscribe button and activate the bell so that you get to see me every friday 
every Friday, every Friday on your screen. Until come join me next time. My name is Jennifer Ogwan. This is June TV. <laughs>